Uh, we're here together with Nick Maxwell, the legendary Nick Maxwell, the one that won the uh, 3DX uh, 2010 in, um, where's that country? Uh, Venlo. Venlo, Netherlands. Uh, yep, Netherlands. Okay. And I'm fortunate enough to be talking to him here, and I'm really, really happy, and it's been uh, yeah. an honor thanks to meet for, you. Yeah, thanks for, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Now, um, we're just here, and I'm here making this video for the benefit of the people in the Philippines. So I want you to just say hello. Okay. Uh, hello to the Philippines and uh, Mabuhay and Kumasta. Very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I asked that last one out there. <laughs> okay. Okay. So a little bit of uh, what we're doing here. Okay. Um, maybe I want the audience to have an idea of what you, uh, your little bit of history, because I mean you're rather young, but yet at the same time you're well accomplished when it comes to this field. Okay. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about your flying history? Okay. And a little bit of your time, uh, and uh, we can take it from there, so to speak. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, basically, uh, I got flying from my dad. Uh, he's been flying since he was 16 or 17 years old. Uh, he flew mainly control line and uh, pylon racing in radio controlled. Uh, and uh, when I was about four, I started flying on an Aeromaster biplane. Uh, it was his, and I flew his stuff up until I was probably about eight or nine uh, when we started pylon racing. Uh, and since then really got into the, the RC stuff and started competing in different aspects, pylon, uh, helicopter, and uh, I've even done a little bit of pattern airplane uh, for the indoor stuff. But other than that, uh, just since then, got my first helicopter for my 10th birthday. Uh, it was a pretty cool birthday present for my dad. Um, and we got that going over a period of time and uh, basically hovered for about two, two years. Uh, my first Ursha was uh, in 2001, I believe. Uh, and we went there and we watched everybody else do all this crazy stuff and we couldn't, couldn't figure it out to save our lives. Uh, so that was kind of a fun experience. Uh, the biggest trouble for us was figuring out how these guys kept their motor running because uh, we didn't know about idle up or anything like that. Um, we tried all sorts of stuff. We, we tried to idle it, uh, we tried reversing the throttles and all sorts of all sorts of weird stuff starting it. How old you were then? <laughs> um, uh, obviously, there wasn't anything new, but it was to us. So we needed to just ask. Um, but instead, we tried to figure it out. Um, and then actually at those urchas, uh, I had met Andy Ponencilio from, from Muncie. Uh, I think I met him in 2002 or 2003. Yeah, he's a Filipino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's become a real good friend of mine. Uh, when I lived in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, I used to drive to Muncie quite a, quite often, two or three times a month, uh, and fly with Andy and then my buddy Jason, who also lives in Muncie. So would you say Andy gave a lot of contributions to you? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, my first XFC, uh, I didn't have a backup helicopter, mm -hmm. and Andy drove his helicopter up to Fort Wayne, uh, let me use it, and then I gave it back after the after the contest. So that was that was pretty cool. Uh, it's a good friend, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a miniature aircraft too, so <laughs> yeah, he must have had a lot of trust. Uh, that's an expensive toy. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I appreciated that. Uh -huh. Okay, what, did Andy do anything else on top of other things that he talked about? Oh, uh, yeah, we flew together uh, quite a bit. Uh, you know, he helped out in so many ways. <laughs> uh, flying, you know, helping, like preparing for contest, that was a big thing too. He'd help, uh, help you know, watch and give opinions. Both him and Jason did that. So, okay. They make a pretty good team. <laughs> and they, they still fly together quite a bit then. Uh, well, talk about a small world. Who would have ever thought that uh, one of the Filipinos that are actually one of the people that sort of got you started type of thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's kind of interesting how it ties them together. Mm -hmm.